I'm Robert James, Mr. L.A., saying peace to you. My man, good show. Hi. Right. Hey, Robert, I have someone who would like to meet you. Hey, Robert, I'm Brian Goodman. I'm an executive producer at Entertainment Tonight, and I've been checking you out for a long time. Oh, thank you. You are talking about my work, right? No, I'm talking about your ass. I'm kidding, I'm straight. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure it's delightful. No. I'm, uh, I'm here because we fired our weekend entertainment guy, and we would like you to replace him. Word? Word. Word. <laughs> you've got the talent, you've got the energy, you would be the perfect addition to our show. You know what, I'm flattered, but Mr. L.A. is my thing right now, and it keeps me pretty busy. Well, it's just weekends, couple hours tops, and we're, <laughs> we're prepared to do whatever it takes to make this happen. Really? Well, does whatever include bringing my producer? If that's what it takes. See if they have benefits. I head to Mr. L.A. Dental Max. <laughs> Dirk Black, it'll be a pleasure working with you. For me. So do we have a deal? I'm in. Fantastic. Welcome aboard. I'll have my lawyer send the paperwork over. All right. <laughs> my man, thanks for having my back, man. Come on, man. You know how we do. We're a team, yes, Dirk. That's right. That's and right. And guess what? Your boy is about to be on a national show. I'm about to produce a national show. <laughs> I'm gonna watch a national show. <laughs> CSI's on the night. I know you guys have produced a tremendous amount of local television, but let me tell you how it works on the national front. Come on, I could do this in my sleep. <laughs> well, that sounds like a neat trick, Dirk, but uh, humor me and try it while you're awake. Uh, I'm sorry, they need me in editing. I will be right back. Man, entertainment tonight is about to meet the Dirk Black Vision. Or as I like to call it, the Black Hotness. Okay, Dirk. Before you give them your vision, why don't you give them their vision? Fine. But I know what they want. They're just too afraid to ask for it. Their lips say Mary Hart, but their eyes are begging for the black hotness. Hey, Rusty. Come on in. What's going on, Nisi? Well, I should ask you that. You gonna build Nisi's bookshelves or Noah's Ark? <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, well, the shelves are gonna go there. Gotcha. So, how's Sarah? Oh, you know, bossy, nosy, high-maintenance, typical big sister stuff. <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna get started so I can be out of your way, all right? Well, no, 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 I'm gonna be right here. See, I made myself your assistant, so next time I won't have to call you. Well, that's too bad. What if I wanted you to call me, huh? <laughs> oh, I see you into the oldies, huh? What you got here? Cameo and Slave, Switch, the OJs, Harold Melvin and the Blue Notes. Rufus and Shaka Khan, girl? You don't know nothing about that. Girl, please, I'm surprised I don't see no Donny Hathaway, Atlantic Star, some Earth, Wind, and Fire up in here. Oh, well, no, you better put them goggles on and keep looking, because they all over there. You know, I got Earth, Wind, and Fire in the player right now. Stop. Hmm. Thing had me lock myself up in my room and teach myself how to play the bass when I was 15, I swear. Oh, OK, OK. A, a musician and a carpenter. Uh -huh. A man of many talents. <laughs> well. Two, anyway. <laughs> you know, I have a band. You should come see me play sometime. Oh, well, you should invite me to see you play sometime. Well, consider yourself invited. Well, consider yourself played. <laughs> <laughs> well, assistant, why don't you hand me a piece of that wood before the boss lady gets back? Yeah, because I heard she real mean. No. Nah, she only seems that way until you get to know her. Oh, I got a splint. No, uh, don't worry about it. I get these all the time. It is an occupational hazard. I think I should get workers' confidence. <laughs> Why don't we settle out of court and you let me take you to dinner? Uh, 
I don't settle. But I'll go to dinner with you. <laughs> oh! That's the rest of my drill, but it's, it's turned off now. The drill, I mean. Turned off. This is a story for you to cover on Entertainment Tonight, okay? This teacher in Missouri just sold a children's book about talking tricycles for $600,000. $600,000? Yeah. Say word. Word! <laughs> now, you know what we could do with that kind of money? <clears throat> we could get a summer home. We wouldn't have to worry about Bobby's college and... Look, baby, the self-publishing industry has changed a lot since you were in the game. Yeah, it doesn't matter, cuz, see. I need to get back to writing my books. Okay, let's see. Uh, furniture? Mm-hmm. Furniture? A story about a little lost love seat looking for his dad. Auto man. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's good. Baby, how is a love seat going to have a daddy? Baby, you have seen children's TV. Anything is possible with a little imagination. Talking trees, talking peanuts. Ooh, ooh, ooh. A talking tree named Peanut. Yeah. You know what, baby? I'm going to go get a glove so I can catch all these gems, OK? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, you go away, you let me create. Well, hey, Bobby, I was meaning to ask you, how was school today? Good. Have you seen my hat? Uh, no, but we can look for that after we talk. Come on, sit down, sit down. Okay. So, kids talking about any good books down at the yard lately? Hmm? I don't know. I spent recess looking for my hat. <laughs> well, um, we'll find it. Just come over here and talk. Maybe it's in my room. Okay, well, I hope you find it. Ooh, a little boy who lost his hat. I'll tell the cat it's tit for tat. Woo, G-O-L-D, go, baby, yeah. All right, Quali, I'm gonna ask you a question that's on everybody's minds. Shoot. All right. Do conscious rappers get groupies? <laughs> Wow, um, I don't really call them groupies. I prefer to call them supporters of my output. You understand? I get that. I feel you. I All feel right. you. Well, I want to thank you for letting E.T. behind the scenes of your new video, Never Been In Love. Thank you, Robert. All right. I'm Robert James for Entertainment Tonight. And, yo, would you like to take us out with a freestyle? I'd love to. It's what I do. I get the mic. Word up. All right, here we go. Yo, it's Quali. You can pronounce the name. I'm rocking with E.T. and my people's Robert James, yeah. Shout out Most Def, shout out High Tech, shout out Black Thought. Give it here, cut the check, word. Yo, my freestyle skills is evident. Forget George Bush, they want Quali for president. Peace and love, Brooklyn. Mm. All, right. All right. I'm Robert James for Entertainment Tonight. I did my part. I'm going to send it back to my girl, Mary Hart. <laughs> Good job, Robert. Wait till you see the finish cut. We're going to have Quali freestyle him, some neighborhood kids behind him. Then we're gonna bring in a graffiti artist to put up a... Yeah, zero. we don't need it. For your first effort, this is good. <laughs> Thanks, Brian. Good, I'm sorry. I didn't realize we were settling for good. I'm sorry. What's the problem, Dirk? My problem is the piece is good, but we can make it better. But I said I'm happy with it. Dirk, you heard what he said. He's happy with it, man. Hey, my name's on it, man. I don't want my name on anything that's not hot. You want your name on something that's not hot? Actually, I want my name on something that's successful, like this show. <laughs> it's true, entertainment tonight is a success. But the only way to continue being a success is by evolving, staying on the cutting edge. And I can make that happen. You know why? Because you're hot. <laughs> Bingo! Hotness, baby. H O T Ness. <laughs> I'm the hotness monster. I think I know what I'm doing. Fine. If bland is what you want, that's what you'll get. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll go unblacken my catfish. What does that even mean? Well, he, he thinks he cooks. And his mother's Creole. We're good, we're, we're good, right? We're, so... uh, we're far from good, Robert. In fact, if Los Angeles were good, we'd be in Okinawa. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just had to turn around to see if Dirk had B-roll of Japanese people crumping behind me. Look, I know Dirk could be a hothead sometimes. Well, he is the hot nest monster. Well, well, Brian, that's because he has vision and he's a perfectionist. He can produce anything that you want. I doubt it. He may have to go. Brian, you can't fire Dirk. We're a team. If you fire him, you're going to have to fire me. 
Look, man, we, we're just used to doing things a different way, all right? We're here. <laughs> You're here. <laughs> but trust me, if you give him some time, he'll adjust. All right, for you, I'm going to give him a second chance. But if he doesn't adjust, it's going to be peace out to... <laughs> Both of you. Thank you for doing the show. Thank you for having me. Listen, you guys go out and get Fantasia's album. It's called Free Yourself. It's in stores now. And you be good. I will, man. I'm a good girl. That you are. I'm Mr. L.A. Saying peace to you. And we're clear. Thank you. Thanks. Well, I love you, Mr. Emily. Oh. Oh, we love you, too. And I love you, too. I voted for you 419 times. This is the finger that did it. You are so sweet. And scary. I will never wash this hand again. I believe that. Hey, Fantasia. Just so you know, I don't just produce Mr. L.A. Mm -hmm. I also produce a nationally syndicated television show. You may have heard of it. Entertainment Tonight. Mm -hmm. huh? Yeah, huh? man. We should do lunch. Man, it's 9 a.m. <laughs> it's an expression. Here's my call. Dirk Black, producer of all things hot. <laughs> I'm going to have to take your word for it. Okay. Okay. Right. Bye, guys. All right, Tisha. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> Dirk, we need to talk. What's up? Do you think you could tone things down a little bit in entertainment tonight? What are you talking about? I'm talking about the way you argue with Brian, man. He's ready to fire both of us. What? It's because we're black, isn't it? <laughs> well, since he hasn't fired all the other black people, I'm thinking no. Look, my father taught me, whatever I do, do the best I can. And the one thing I can't do is mediocrity. Dirk, what we're doing is not mediocrity. It's a step in our path. And after a few more steps, we'll be in a position to do things the way we want to do them, together, like we planned. All right. I'm down. All right? I can still smell her perfume on my hand. Oh, you lucky. My hands smell like tacos. You ruined it. Well, you know how you said to me that there's no place in L.A. that has good meatloaf, right? Uh -huh. I know this place is a little bit corny, but, uh... What do you think? <laughs> I mean, man, you, what? it was good. All right. But I could have made it better. Now, since the meatloaf wasn't a big old hit and all, you need to try <laughs> that pecan pie. Let me get you a slice. Mm, well, you know what? I can get it. I got to see how it looks first. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, not bad, not bad. I'll take that. You lucky you bigger than me. You lucky. <laughs> on a wall. In the hall, maybe under a ball. One by one, then suddenly all, with a clip and a clap, when searching for the little boy's hat. What do you think? Oh, uh, what's a clap? <laughs> I made it up. What do you think should happen next? Maybe they look in the closet. Now, that is a good idea, Bobby. You are so smart. Mm. But, ooh, what rhymes with closet? Was it? <laughs> if you can make up words, I can, too. I really had a good time. Thank you. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Hello? Hey, Sarah. Listen, I'm, I'm now it's not a good time. Uh-huh. 
Okay, well, I'll fix it tomorrow. Cause I'm busy, bye. Did you just hang up in her face? Uh-huh. No. I've been doing it since I was little. Oh, boy. <laughs> so what does your sister think about us going out to dinner? She doesn't. Sarah's a little overprotective. She's run off every woman I've ever dated, and I just don't want you to be one of them. Oh, so what are we supposed to do? Sneak around and pretend like we don't know each other? <laughs> <laughs> you cool with that, right? <laughs> do I look like I'm in high school to you? Actually, you do. Skin all soft and oh. smooth. You barely look legal. Well, I do moisturize, and I do look good. <laughs> <laughs> but that's besides the point. You know, I don't know where this is going to go, but if you want to take me out again, I'm not going to be sneaking around. I'm a grown-ass woman. I can see that. And if we go out again, trust me, there'll be no issues. Well, OK. OK. <laughs> well, then I'll see you soon. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, you know something? How about this weekend? Because we're playing, and uh, I can put you on the guest list if you want to come. Ah, uh, your band is that big where there's a guest list, huh? Uh-huh. Actually, there has to be because we're playing a prom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, girl. We playing at the Timber Bar in Santa Monica. Oh. <laughs> I mean, well, it really didn't matter if you was playing a prom. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, niece. Good night. <laughs> So, what other events are we covering this month? We have a very exciting lineup. We're sending Cameron Cruz to the Victoria's Secret Lingerie Show and the Westminster Dog Show. Wow, it sounds great. It sounds great. What do you guys think? Good. Good? Mm -hmm. Dirk, what do you think? I think Marsha's ideas are super terrific. <laughs> joy delicious. Great. Good, good, good. Okay, since you are the new guys, why don't you pick which uh, event you want to cover? What is it going to be, guys? Mutts or butts? <laughs> well, I mean, it's tough not to choose them both, but if I had to just choose one, I'm going to the lingerie show. <laughs> uh, Dirk. Is there a problem? Nope. It's all wonderful. Excellent. It's okay. just that I've been to a million lingerie shows, both private and public. And your point is? That they're all the same. Why don't we try a fresh spin this year? Maybe a behind the scenes expose. Have a camera crew follow the models. Get the transformation from beast to beauty. Ooh, that sounds, how would you put it, Jerk? Um, bad idea-tastic. <laughs> we don't have time. Anyway, uh, some high- I quit. What? I appreciate the opportunity. I don't belong here. Dirk, what are you doing? I'm not feeling this, man. Well, if you're leaving, then I'm leaving. No. You stay. We need to have more brothers on national TV other than the ones on Cops. <laughs> Besides, I need to be at Mr. L.A. where I have creative freedom, and I can open the door for more brothers like us. Dirk, we agreed to do this together as partners. Listen, the best way to keep a partnership together is knowing when to pass the ball and let your teammate take the shot. Lane's open, man. Take it to the hoop. Feel me? Okay. Now, if you'll excuse me before they cut off my dental plan, I'm going to get nine root canals. You realize when you quit, it usually means you leave the building. I'm just getting some of my stuff. And are those pencils part of your uh, stuff? Why you gotta be so cheeky? You know, Dirk, for whatever it's worth, um, I'm sorry this didn't work out. No, you're not. True. But I didn't take you for a quitter. I didn't think that the uh, black hotness would cool so fast. Oh, hold up. The black hotness is not cool. It never cools. It just relocates back to Mr. L.A., where it rages on like an inferno, burning into the night, shining like a beacon for... You see where I'm going with this. Goodbye, Brian. I'm jerk. Brian, there's nothing you can say to get me back. Jerk. I need your, uh, security card and your parking pass. <laughs> Thank you.